Hello and welcome to the Freakin' Rican restaurant channel. Today we'll be making Puerto Rican Benin. Okay guys, so first thing to start your benin off, what I like to do is I'm gonna cut up the bag, um, obviously that the benin came in. And we're gonna get the benin out. Nice pretty big benin right here, which is a pork shoulder. Um, some of this excess fat I like to take off. So I'm just gonna cut off some of it uh, because benin is already a little fatty. So I like to take off a little of the excess, um, not throwing out any meat. So we're gonna do that right quick and that's done. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is the skin part. Uh, as you see right here, I'm just gonna go and kind of separate it from the meat. A lot of people don't do this, but I like to separate it so I could give it a good clean. And I like to stab it a couple times and insert some fresh garlic. Okay, so we're gonna keep on just like this, cutting it. You don't have to cut it all the way through. And now what we're gonna do is take a knife and if somebody's pissing you off today, you just take it out. Take it out on the penny. Okay, so here we go. We're just stabbing it just like so. So here we could put garlic. Every hole we could put garlic. Okay, and that's gonna give it a really nice flavor. So now that we did that, we're gonna turn it over and do the same thing. So there you go, just stab it a whole bunch of times and that's where we're gonna put a lot of the flavor, a lot of the garlic and other seasonings. So now um, that we have finished poking the holes, now what we're gonna do to the pork shoulder is uh, run it through some water, okay? So we're just gonna run it really quick through the water. Real fast, just like that. Throw out the water, hold and let it drain for a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is put it back into the bowl and now it's time to put about a cup of vinegar so I like to use um, apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna pour some there. That's about a cup. And now, rub that baby up, just like so. So you wanna make sure you're getting vinegar all over the, the pork shoulder and in the holes, cause that is going to give it some added flavor and it's gonna help everything bind together. And now what we're gonna do with the excess vinegar is just dump it out, okay? Just like that. And now we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna just rinse out my hands real quick. And now it's time to season. Okay, so here, what we're gonna start with is um, three tablespoons of salt. Some places say that you should do uh, one tablespoon per pound or one teaspoon per pound. I'm just doing three tablespoons for the whole penny. Doesn't matter what size. Um, if it's smaller, then I would do a little less, but this is probably about uh, a 10 pound penny, so I don't wanna do um, too much. So this is three tablespoons of salt. Okay, make sure you get in here as well. There you go. And now we're gonna add a little comino, which this is a half a tablespoon of comino. And the same thing, you're gonna sprinkle everything on both sides of the pork shoulder, okay? So a little comino here. And now oregano. This is one tablespoon of oregano. Okay, so we got that, and now on this side, just like that, and let's put a little here, there you go, 
And here I have two packages of Goya Sasson. There you go. Right there. And we're going to flip it. This I'm going to put a little on the cuero, which is the skin. You give it a little color. And the rest underneath, okay? And now we're going to have, this is a cup of garlic. Okay, so we're going to take half of this. And the garlic, I put it into this food processor and chopped it up. So we're going to put half of it under the skin, just like that. And we're going to turn it over and use the other half, okay? So this is a pretty easy, simple recipe, which will give the pork shoulder an amazing flavor. And now what you want to do is rub everything together, okay? Just rub everything and all of the holes, try to get some garlic in there, okay? So that's what you want to do is just rub it up, just like this. So it has a really nice color and there's a lot of garlic. You want a lot of garlic because that's what's going to give it such a um, potent flavor. And it, I don't know if you could see, but here in the holes, I'm stuffing the holes with garlic. Okay? And this is nice, fresh garlic. And just like that. Okay, and now we're going to do, so you want to make sure that you have seasoning everywhere. Okay? So we're doing some here. And now, last but not least... I'm going to rinse off my hands again and give me one. Okay, so now it is time to put, of course, our freaking Regan sofrito. It's the only sofrito you should be using, okay? So we're going to use this and we're going to put three tablespoons, okay? So this is one, two, and three. That's going to give it a lot of flavor. Because remember, the sofrito has um, recao, it has peppers, onions, garlic, everything all natural, no salt, and it's going to give it a really amazing flavor, okay? So once again, you're going to get your hands a little dirty, um, and now we're going to rub this all over, okay? So you want to spread this every single little inch of your roast pork okay well it's not roast yet till it cooks but there you go and you see it's so much garlic which is what you want and now what we'll do is now we'll transfer it to um to your aluminum tray and what i like to do is put it um this way with the skin up and then whatever is on the bowl you're gonna drain it, okay? You're gonna drain it under the skin, just like so. Throw that there, and so you see the skin? And now you're gonna lay that just like that. I didn't have any half size tray, so this is why I used the full one, but, and you just close it like this, and then what you're gonna do is wrap this in aluminum foil and put it in the fridge for about two days. I would do at least two days and um, since it's going to marry in all of that flavor, it's going to taste amazing. So you're going to do it for two days, which I'm going to do it for two days, and we'll be back. Okay, so now three days we have left this in the fridge. So you can leave it a day if you don't have time, two days. But I like it to really saturate and marinate in, um, in all of the seasonings. So it's been three days and now I have already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. I'm actually gonna leave it covered while it cooks for about maybe two hours. And so what you wanna do is you wanna create like a type of pouch over the skin so it's not directly on the skin where after the two hours you could take off the aluminum foil and it's not gonna be stuck to the skin, okay? So now what we're gonna do is in the preheated oven, which is kinda hot right now, we're gonna put, um, actually I'm going to take a baño. Give me one second, guys. I don't wanna burn myself because then the freaking Rican can't cook for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put this 
at about um, halfway. And I'm gonna take this and put it in the oven. Okay, it's just as easy as that. And we're gonna let this cook for about minimum five hours. Okay, so two hours with the cover on and three hours without the aluminum foil, okay? So I have my gloves on because you don't want to get burned. I'm going to open up the oven. I got to be careful how I bend because I hurt my back. Uh, so I'm in a little pain right now. And just bear with me. Oh, oh, my back is killing me. All right, and look how gorgeous the penny looks. So it's uh, it's nice and crunchy. It could be a little a little crunchier, but um, this is six hours in the oven. It looks delicious. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, tongs, or you could take a fork and a knife if you like. But what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna lift up the skin, and you see. The roast pork is so cooked, so ready, that it just comes right off the bone. And look how delicious that looks. It's so, so good. So it's really, really easy. And you'll see that the bone will just come out. But I just want to give you a basic example that um, it's so easy. Once the six hours are done, it just falls off the bone, okay, as it should. If it's a little too tough, you want to throw it back in the, in the oven and let it cook up a little bit more, okay? So, once again, I love you for watching. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Um, remember our Facebook at The Freaking Reekin' Restaurant. Twitter, Freaking Reekin' Rest. Visit our website. We ship pasteles. We ship sofrito. We now have um, our mugs online. Thank you so much, guys. I love you so much.